things in life is to is to be different. It's not easy to step out and do something that the next person is not doing. You know, I, I, I grew up as a kid, you know, looking at the NBA, dreaming hopefully one day I can get there. I grew up watching the All-Star games and, you know, thinking that'd be cool, <laughs> you know, if I can make it there. And now I'm 11 years in um, consecutively, so uh, you try not to take it for granted. You know, you try to, you know, you understand that you know, nothing is guaranteed to you. Um, so I'm thankful. Don't be afraid to be different, man. That's what make your own way stands for. Your way. Everybody's is different. Everybody got a different story. You might be from the same block. You might be from the same park, the same neighborhood, whatever the case may be. But everybody got a different path. I, I think what Dwayne and Lee Ning are doing for these kids is unbelievable, man. I, I think we need more of those type of people to, that are not afraid to sacrifice something that's cool for something that can have a positive effect on so many others, and most importantly, a younger generation. D. Wade coming to my high school it means the greatest thing in the world, basically. And he's giving back to me, like this room, before he gave back to this room, it was really small. And now it just looks excellent, it looks the best. And D. Wade coming to my school, personally, that's, that's just... I mean, he, was, he was not in, in the top physical condition, yeah. he was able to contribute. Yeah, but on the other hand, you have to think about that as well. He came into the, the, the first game of the playoffs with all the pressure on him. High Tech needed that win. And they played him for, for 32 minutes. They expected him to perform well, which he did. He got 13 points. He took 13 shots as well, but yeah, he scored when they needed him to. And he should be in better shape this game. That should be a big part of the high tech Bangkok City offense. But this guy, Patrick Abahu, coming from, let's say, a resting period, he is a talented guy. He's a talented basketball player. I remember him in college and when he was playing for Adams University, he was killing it on the floor. All their plays were for Patrick Abahu. And I think much. it also helped mentally that the Singapore Slingers knew high tech was going to get a good guy. Yeah. Uh, I talked to MJ, assistant coach MJ, after the uh, Slingers win over Saigon, and he said that well, we had trouble guarding Patrick Abajo in, yeah. in, 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 the, in the last season. Yeah. So you know that their defense had to prepare for Patrick Abajo, and then that opened things up for everyone else. For sure, Patrick Abahu had a, a huge game against the Singapore Slingers last year. In both games, home and away in the playoffs. And that's something that's probably stuck in the mind of the Singapore Slingers coming into this year. It's a growing rivalry. They've met each other twice in the, in the, in the playoffs in these past two years. So, yeah, that's something that we look forward to seeing into this game. Yes, I agree with that, TK. Let's quickly talk about what Singapore has to do in terms of adjustments to be able to beat high tech tonight. I, th I think they should just have to play according to their own game, what they've been doing all season, playing solid defense, and just going along with the flow of their own offense. I think last game, they might have been tired or they were, it was probably just an off game. Wang Wei Long wasn't shooting that well. He only shot, Wang Wei Long only shot two of seven from the field. Oh, a five from three points. That's not how he usually does it. If they, if he just gets back into his rhythm, I don't think Singapore Swingers should have much of a problem in this game. Yeah, as Coach Neil Van Sen uh, mentioned during the interview, low shooting percentage was the main problem that the Singapore Swingers faced during the previous game. And Singapore's strength lies on its best. I mean, in the ABL, the first five would cancel each other yeah. out. But Singapore is proud that they have a really strong bench that could equal or even exceed the, the numbers of their starting guard. Mm -hmm. But in that game, I think Wu and Long only scored what a combined 12 points. And you know that these two guys are capable of scoring 20 at any given game. That's true. They both have had 20-point games in this season. As their locals are actually very good. Uh, we mentioned uh, Wang Wei Long, last year's local MVP. So he can produce on any given night. So hopefully High Tech will be able to slow down their guards. In a few moments, we're going to have the national anthem for both countries. As soon as we finish introducing the players and the referees as well. And ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Singapore.
ร้องเพลงชาติไทยค่ะประเทศไทยรวมกันเนื้อชาติเชื่อไทยเป็นประชารัฐพัดไทยของไทยทุกส่วนอยู่ดำรงคงไว้ได้ทั้งมวลด้วยไทยรุ่นหมายรักสมาคิดไทยนี้รักสงบแต่ถึงรบไม่ขาดเอกราชจะไม่ให้ใครคงคิสลาเลือดทุกชาติเป็นชาติชาติไทยทวิมีชัยชิยุค And there we just had the national anthems for both countries. Pretty sizable crowd tonight, don't you think? Yeah, there's a pretty good crowd here. Not not as much as the game, the finals game from last year, but pretty good crowd. They've been uh, given shirts for the games. Uh, High Tech Bangkok City going with the all white theme here in. The Thai Japanese Stadium. Yes, we are at the Thai Japanese Stadium Gym Two, uh, where the previous finals last year was held. Uh, High Tech went against Malaysia Dragons. A change up for where they usually have been playing throughout the whole season at High Tech Bangkok City Gym. As we look at our starters for this game, Gold Team, Kung Kum, Charles Klahan, and Stephen Thomas. Will be starting for High Tech Bangkok City against Desmond O, King Dewu, Xavier Alexander, Delvin Go, and Justin Howard. DK, what jumps out at you? Jumps out at me right now is number 36 for High Tech Bangkok City here, Patipan Glahan. He has yet to log a single minute in the ABL. Coach Jing Ruiz is going out on a limb here and starting him in this game in a very decisive game. Patipan Glahan, a very young member of the High Tech Bangkok City squad, but very good contributor during the TBL as well. Yeah, he was a good player during the TBL along for it. He can shoot it a bit. He can jump up really high and maybe we can just see what kind of surprises he's going to bring out here he, for High Tech He's a tall City. player and a quick uh, person on his feet as well. So he could probably guard the likes of Xavier Alexander. Although hopefully Alexander, you know, won't overpower him too much as he goes into the lane. Wait to see what Coach Jing Ruiz has in play for that surprising decision. Probably High Tech needing more firepower off the bench. Having a Bahuk step out, or is it conditioning issues? What do you think? I think it's just Coach Jing Ruiz. He wants to give the youngster maybe a bit more confidence at the start of the game when the tides haven't shifted yet, and maybe at towards the end of the game he can dig deeper into his bench when the players have warmed up a little bit and gotten used to the atmosphere of the playoff games. Well, if you're the home team, you want you would want your visitor to be as un uncomfortable as possible to start the game. And how do you do that? Give them a surprise starter. Mm. This is someone that was not scouted on by the Singapore Slingers. Now you have to deal with guarding him. So that in and of itself could already be a quick adjustment on the part of Hayatek. Yeah, so let's see who it will benefit in the start of the game. Game is about one minute away. Just hold your breath on a little bit. Hopefully we don't soon. get any uh, rookie jitters from Atapan <laughs> Klahan. A talented player, but as you all know, in front of the big stage, in front of the bright lights, these jitters can get to you. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword right now. If he performs well, he will get his name up into the boards, but if he gets cold feet, it might affect his morale going into his later uh, professional career. Let's quickly talk about the big men performance for High Tech Bangkok City and how their offense has changed since, you know, missing Tyler Lamb. Earlier in the season, it was more of a Goldstein-Lamb type of duo, heavy load on the scoring. Apart from last year, it was heavy on Christian Charles and Stephen Thomas. And then during game one, it went back to Charles and Thomas. So what do you think? Is it a a benefit for high tech that they're playing this way or should they go guard heavy once again i think it, it's it's all dependent on the people you have on the floor i mean thomas and charles really know how to play alongside each other and instead of forcing them to give out the offense to their guards i mean why not stick to your main strength 
Tyler Lamb is undoubtedly a very talented player. Mm -hmm. But when you lose someone like him, you just go back to your old guys, to, yeah. to the guys who sent you to the finals in the last time. That's and true. These guys are really talented as well. It's not as if, you know, Charles and Stephen Thomas are some has-beens. They're actually dominating still. <laughs> and they are veterans who know how to win big games. And, and when playoff time arrives, you always have to go home to your veteran. And uh, yeah. Singapore controls the tip. Desmond Oh drives inside. Gets one over. No, misses. So we see on the court there, actually the starting lineup might have been a bit wrong. We are to see the Nikon Kum starting at the small forward position. And well, Kabahog's also yeah. starting. Yeah, so probably a bit of a mix-up there in the starting lineup exchange. Quick, uh, quick thinking by Hype Tech to probably try to sneak one off Singapore. <laughs> Desmond, oh no, Alexander with a fadeaway, misses a bit short. Referee calls it Singapore ball. But there's two seconds left on the shot clock. Singapore has got to draw something up to get a quick shot off here. I think that shot hit the rim, so this should be reset to 14 seconds. Let's see what the refs... Steve is saying it didn't hit the rim. He probably tipped it right before it hit the rim. Still two seconds on the shot clock. We're gonna I get it in. Not want to foul in this possession. As Justin <laughs> Howard beats the buzzer. That's always hard when you play pretty good defense up until the last second, and they still are able to score. So High Tech's gonna get a first jab on their offensive possession. Abajo, Thomas swings it over to Goldstein. Goldstein still dribbling the ball. Post up Christian Charles up on the high post. Christian Charles taking his time. Semi hook misses. Howard clears the rebound. Tech comes up empty in that position, but I like how they're going to Chris Charles early in the game. Alexander now. He's going to make his move inside. Rolls out. Howard gets the rebound. Brings it back out. He takes a jump shot. No. Goldstein now. Going to post up Thomas. Mid-range stab, way short. High Tech's offense is sputtering right now. They're trying to hold up the Singapore Slingers on offense as well. Both teams seem to be rushing in their possessions. I think they still haven't figured out how to play offense in this lineup. Justin Howard once again. You, can, you can't give him that much space. I mean, he already hit a difficult jumper to beat the shot clock. As the first two points of the game, Steven Thomas not defending Howard properly in the first possessions of this game. Yeah, you don't want to get Howard hot to start the ball game as Wu Kim Jae gets called for the foul as he was trying to guard Patrick Kubahu. I think Bangkok City has to try to get a clean look at the basket right now. They haven't got any open looks to start this game off. Goldstein pulls up for three! with Goldstein and Charles is always a dangerous situation if you're Singapore because it's tough to choose who you will guard and that time they just backed off a little bit giving Goldstein enough space for that triple. As Alexander hits a short stab. And that's a dangerous sign for High Tech Bangkok City once a guy like Xavier Alexander starts making his shots. Yeah, Xavier Alexander wasn't really shooting that well during the first game. But he's not much of a shooter but once you let him get into his rhythm and make those shots. You don't want him to get any confidence as Alexander goes for the dunk. It's short. Wu with the rebound. Back out to Delvin Go. Delvin Go tries his stab. No, Christian Charles with the rebound. Kabahu calling the shots. Gets the screen from Thomas. Kabahu is going to pull up for three. A bit long. Battle for the boards. Go clears it. Interesting ploy from the Singapore Slingers. They're, they're going under the screen. That's the goal off of that. And someone is tagged with a foul. I think it's Patrick Kabahu. Well, about Singapore going under the screens. I, I think High Tech hasn't shot that well enough from three points to actually make them respect them from that three-point line yet. Yeah, they're packing in the middle to prevent Chris Charles and Stephen Thomas from actually getting easy baskets down the line. They probably would just want the guards of high-tech to score rather than to deal with a high-scoring game from Charles and Thomas. You're right, TK. Wow, what a move by Goldstein as he pulls up a bit short on that. Alexander clears the rebound. 
Alexander gets bumped and a foul is called. This offense is not sustainable if you're high tech Bangkok City. I mean, you have two of the best big men in the business. And the last three possessions all ended up with three point shots for them. They need to make an effort to get the ball down low and, and maybe hope for, for Howard to be in foul trouble again. I agree with that, Carlos. And that's been a problem with them throughout the year. Perimeter players not feeding the big men enough. The Panthers high tech offense so runs through the big men. As Wu gets trapped, pulls one up, no. Thomas with the rebound. Thomas is gonna play point guard right now. Desmond, oh, just sticking in to try to go see his face. Good defense there by Desmond, oh. But high tech retains possession. Desmond O is known to be a tenacious defender, as the Singaporeans call him, tenacious D. <laughs> Christian Charles, high post, handoff to Goldstein. Goldstein thought about it, he's gonna make his move inside, steps back for a fadeaway, long. Once again, another shot by Freddie Goldstein. The ball didn't even reach Chris Charles for Steve Thomas, once again. Desmond O for three! Singapore Slinger starting out on fire. They're now leading nine to three. That's what happens when you take long shots. You give up easy, easy shots on the other side because it's so much easier to get the rebounds if you're the Slinger. As Kong Koo misses that one, Alexander is now pushing it up court. And another foul is called. High Tech doesn't want to get into the penalty too early in the first quarter. Easy call right there. Cutting into the lane of Alexander. See quick substitutions at the point. Let Malapoin checks in for high tech. Oh. As Boo. So the Singapore Slingers continue to make their mid range and long range shots. They have an 11 to 3 advantage on the Singapore Slingers. High tech Bangkok City just struggling on offense. High tech can't afford to dig themselves into a deep hole here. As Stephen Thomas pulls up mid-range and gets it. That's a much better shot if you're high tech. The dribble penetration to keep the defense honest and then dish off to Steve Thomas for the mid-range J. Yep, and now the defenders have to keep honest to uh, Steve Thomas out on the perimeter. They have to close out on him, leaving much more space for Chris Charles to work around with. Delvin Gold misses that. Kabahuk now with the rebound. He's gonna push it up court. Kabahuk makes his way inside, kicks it out to Adaporn. He thought about it. Goldstein, he's gonna pull it back out. He pulls up for three. Goldstein, short once again. That's one of three now from the outside for Goldstein. Travel. Good call, Carl. <laughs> As we see Xavier Alexander driving, but taking one extra step, one too many. The ball will go back to the high-tech Bangkok City after this timeout. Hey, we're winning the ball game down here, though. Good job, good job, okay? Mishwell and Charles get us out there, guys, okay? Talk to that. Welcome back to the ball game coming off the timeout. Singapore is still leading 11 to 5. Let's do a quick shout out to our sponsors Air Asia, the official airline partner of the ABL, Li Ning, the official ball partner of the ABL, and McDavid, the official protective compression partner of the ABL. Goldstein now is going to bring up the ball for high-tech Bangkok City. 
Goldstein is holding on to the ball a lot. The ball hasn't even touched Chris Charles and Steven Thomas for a while. Kabahu gets the three, much needed three points for High Tech Bangkok City. Cuts the lead to three. It pays off this time, but you've got to be worried about the touches Charles and Thomas have been getting. That'll be a foul on Steven Thomas. He pushed off Desmond O, who was trying to fight off the screen. Another foul for High Tech Bangkok City. Next foul, they're going to be in the penalty. So Alexander is going to take it out on the baseline. He's looking for someone. He kicks it out to Howard. Desmond O now calling the shot. He's going to make his way inside. Kicks it out to Wu. Drop pass. Delvin go, Delvin go. Left hand layup gets it to go. I had no idea he had that in his arsenal. Driving to his left with a bit of a yo-yo move right there. <laughs> finishing with the left hand. That was a bit of slow defense for High Tech Bangkok City though. Freddie Goldstein and Stephen Thomas got beat too easily. Bad pass by Goldstein as Alexander picks it off and he's going to go for an easy two. Playing the passing lane. That's one of his skills. He knows how to read the defense. And as you said earlier, TK, Goldstein is holding on to the ball too much. And everyone, the Singapore Slingers are reading into that. Ah! Goldstein gets tagged for a uh, gets fouled as he goes inside. Sorry. He got an open lane going to the basket there, but the slingers pretty much anticipated him going in there. Justin Howard just flying in, waiting for that shot. Alexander will be called for a foul. Good aggressive move by Freddie Goldstein, not selling for the outside jumper. Ah. Although V misses the first free throw. Freddie Goldstein just not having a good game here at all, missing a lot of shots. But he makes that one at least. Hopefully that will boost his confidence. Always good as a scorer to see the ball go through the hoop. That is true. Desmond O now. Looking for someone to pass to. Swings it Alexander. Alexander uses the pick. Kicks it out to O. O for three. Short. Charles clears the rebound. Goldstein now makes his move. Kicks it out. Risky pass there. At the point. Loses it. Off his foot. I think that was a bad call. It, it touched the foot of a slinger last. Still, the way. ball will go back to the slingers. Yep. Wong Wei Long checks in for the first time. We haven't even seen Chris Rosales yet. He's a bit hampered with an injury from the last game. A bit of a hand injury. But not too much to keep him out of suiting up. Delvin go inside. Nice pass. That's how you beat a zone defense. Just fast, quick passing leading to a high percentage shot. Goldstein being double teamed now, he breaks out of it. Ball movement for High Tech is a bit slow. Alexander gets called for his second foul. That was a very lucky break for High Tech because that's not the kind of offense you want going one on one against Xavier Alexander. <laughs> Luckily, he was whistled for the foul. He got mostly ball, but a bit of arm. Alexander can't believe the call. As a veteran at the point, Malibon goes straight at him. It's a pretty big foul for High Tech with now Xavier Alexander. Two fouls with two minutes left in the first quarter. Let's see if they try to exclamate on that and draw another one. High Tech can capitalize on the free throws, though. Both Goldstein and Atapon let Malapon have missed one each. At the point goes one for two. Delvin Go up top. He's gonna swing it to Wong Way Long. Way Long looking for someone. Go makes his way inside. Go with another left hand layup. Chris Charles committed. To defending the guard instead of his man Delvin Go, Delvin punishing him and making him pay with two more points. Delvin Go 
this aggressiveness is killing high tech Bangkok City right now. On both sides as well. He did. And another one for Go. He misses though. Howard with the rebound. Way long, floats it up, and in! A really good start for the Singapore Slingers as they build the first double digit lead of this game, 21 to 10. with one minute and 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Singapore building a big lead, 21 to 10 over the defending champions. As they went off to a quick start, running and gunning against High Tech Bangkok City. I hope Coach Jing Ruiz got to mention about the lack of touches the inside guys have gotten in this game. It's still barely even touching the ball. There Steve Thomas gets it off. Thomas. But still unable to make it count. In FIBA rules, you can jump with the ball, lose it, land, and then catch it again without being called a travel. But as we see in this play, Thomas leapt with the ball and landed with the ball. So that's a very sharp, sharp call from the referee. Howard making his way. Semi hook. No. Alexander saves it. Kicks it out. Woo for three. <laughs> Delvin Go, good hustle, kicks out one way long. He's open for three, he's gonna try it, yes! Slingers, amazing effort coming from the Singapore Slingers. Offensive rebounding working out well for them and offensive rebounds lead to open shots such as the one that Wei Wong made. You can see the aggressiveness, the aggressiveness that uh, Singapore has. As Goldstein gets one to go. You can just see who wants the ball more in this game. It's to, uh, no question the Slingers really want it that bad. That's a horrible foul because they're already in the penalty. Kabahu will give Wu two free throws. And with only two seconds left, gives him an easy shot, easy two attempts to get two more points on the board. Already leading by 12. Makes one out of two. 2.5 seconds left. Quick outlet by Stephen Thomas to Christian Charles. Charles looks at the clock, pulls up for three. Good if it counted, but. You just know that's a problem when half of Chris Charles' attempts in the first quarter is a pull up three point hesitating and shot to end the quarter. That's, that's just not the, the offense that High Tech Bangkok City have been running. And that's something that they're going to have to look to change if they still want to end this here in Bangkok. Just look at the stats. Five shots already for Fred Goldstein. A combined four shots for Steve Thomas and Chris Charles. High Tech needs to address that problem if they want to come back to this game. They're down 13 right now. Not only that, the offensive rebounds that you mentioned earlier, Singapore Slingers have six compared to the High Tech Bangkok City. They have six defensive rebound so every time that the slingers shoot a shot the slingers have been 
getting half of all of those rec caroms. That's a 6-0 to zero lead in offensive rebounds. And you know what they say about playoff basketball? Throw away the stats. It's all about the effort you put in. And in the first 10 minutes of this game, Singapore has been putting much more effort compared to high tech. And that's why they've gotten easy points, such as this layup from Alexander of the Steel. Yeah, high tech Bangkok City was caught flat footed to start the ball game. And the Singapore Slingers capitalized over it. So we need to see more effort for high tech Bangkok City as they enter the second quarter. And we're getting ready to start the second quarter right now. Singapore up 25 to 12. Let's see if high-tech Bangkok City can make a run of their own and catch up to the Slingers. Pia Pong Pirun checking in for the first time. Same lineup for the Slingers. Pirun is a veteran though. Let's see if he can manage out those touches that high-tech needs to get to Chris Charles and Stephen Thomas. So Chris Rosales still hasn't seen any action tonight. As a nice pass inside as Thomas gets the foul of Howard. And we were just talking about this, guys. Feeding the post. That's all they needed to do, get the ball down low. Justin Howard isn't going to handle Steve Thomas that easily. And that's going to draw fouls for them. Good interior passing. It was a risky pass, but a good pass nonetheless by Christian Charles to... Stephen Thomas says Thomas misses the first free throw. See coach Jing Ruiz. Thomas makes one out of two. Spotty shooting from the free throw line for high tech so far. Now 50%. Way long. Swings it a go. Alexander now. Goes inside, Howard, mid-range shot, off. Steve Thomas left uh, Justin Howard a bit open there, but Justin Howard can't finish. At the point, long on that three. Way long, pushing it, swings it to Wu. Hard foul by Pia Pong Perun on that play. You know, taking early three-point shots against the defense of the Slingers is making life so much easier for them because the defense uh, of the high tech isn't even set up yet. No offensive rebounds for them means an easy defensive rebound for Singapore. Th that's pretty much a shame since high tech are actually a really good offensive rebounding team, but they're just not getting the opportunity to show that side of the game. Way long makes his way inside, and a foul is called in Goldstein. Quick foul right there. That's two fouls in the first minute of the second quarter. You don't want to be in that position if you're high tech. You need to limit those fouls as much as possible from here on out. Way long, finds Alexander. Turnover, Goldstein now with it. Goldstein's gonna bring it up court. He's gonna stop and pop for three. Again, another early triple, another easy rebound for Singapore. One and done for high tech again. Singapore's offense is really looking great. Nice passing left to right. Exact opposite for high tech as they get the chance for a fast break here. And Christian Charles makes his way inside. That's just pure talent and athleticism from Chris Charles. He was out of position when he got that pass. Yeah, but that's just showing that the ball needs to get to him a lot more. I don't think he's touched the ball even 10 times in this game yet. That's a third foul on high tech. Their defense is way too physical. They need to learn how to adjust the calls. And the point. referees are calling it a bit tight tonight. But I think Adzaborn has been a bit aggressive as well. Justin Howard calling him out. Gets substituted for Nakar Jaisanuk, the shooter. Nako and Jaisanuk hit a couple of threes in the last game. They're going to need a lot more for him. This match right here, Alexander is going to go up against Pirun. That's another foul is called. Pirun <laughs> picks up two fouls in less than two minutes. And more importantly, <laughs> Hightech <laughs> picks up four 
in the first minute and 50 seconds of the this will be a very slow quarter for high tech so the slingers are going to be shooting free throws from here on out as the high tech bangkok city will be in the penalty in the next next foul desmond o checks back in for Wu. alexander looking for someone nice defense by chris charles there though three second violation alexander because he lost possession of the ball while, while he was already at the key good patience by christian charles moving up to alexander not biting on the shot fake and just standing his ground got the turnover for his team jason nook now Pirun. thomas kicks it out to jason nook for three long but thomas clears the rebound not looking to be aggressive as he kicks it back out to Goldstein. They're going to set up Christian Charles down low. Charles gets bumped and no foul is called. Referees say play on. A lot of contact there, but I like the ball flow in that possession. It's been more fluid than the past. Surprisingly, Stephen Thomas didn't pull up that mid-range shot as Delvin Go hits one of his own. That's six points already in the game for Delvin Go. The young big man has been showing a lot of his game. Thomas kicks it out. They're going to set up Charles once again on the post. Piroon swings it. Goldstein. Almost a good idea by Goldstein. And they're going to get the pass through. Desmond through the left to Thomas. And the foul will be called on Thomas. This will be two free throws. Good double team there by Desmond O. That's what they're doing. Initial defender is always a big guy on Steve Thomas and Chris Charles, but the guard will always come from the weak side to try and force that ball out. The shooters of high tech haven't been on point. That's why this kind of defense is working for them. I agree. Good rotation as well for the defense of Singapore. They're really aggressive tonight in this ball game they really want to win as well but actually this isn't anything new this is how the Singapore Slingers have been playing all year long and I'm a bit surprised that coach Ching Ruiz hasn't been more prepared for this kind of situation as you mentioned Carlo in the beginning of the ball game high tech Bangkok too was kind of pushed to the corner in the first game and they came out very aggressive and now as you see Singapore doing it as well it's different when you know that this is it for you I mean yeah. if you lose this game Everything that you worked for in the elimination round goes to waste. And that's why they, they're very aggressive right now because they want to extend this game to a do-or-die match on Sunday in their home court. That is true. Singapore seniors playing like there is no tomorrow. As Thomas misses a mid-range shot. Alexander now looking to push. He's going to make his way inside. Kicks it out of Howard. Charles screws the rebound. Rune almost lost it. They're going to go back down low. Stephen Thomas is bread and butter. Straight up post up there for High Tech Bangkok City. No guard to bother Thomas. Easy job for him. Better offense there for High Tech. Freddie Goldstein trying to hold his own on Xavier Alexander. Mismatch here as Alexander. <laughs> Offensive foul. That's an easy call. Alexander should have seen that coming, though. He absolutely bowled him <laughs> over. I, I have no idea why you would even complain after doing something like that. As a as a big man, you probably get you probably get tempted to just you know overpower the guy once you see a mismatch like that. The problem with that is he could just turn around and left for a <laughs> mid-range jumper. He didn't need that all that contact. Teddy Goldstein's a smart player. He knew that uh, Xavier Alexander had two fouls. Oh, as Lacan comes in and won. <laughs> no, no basket. Oh. That should have been a continuation, though, as both the coaches of High Tech Bangkok City complaining about it. Hopefully, we could see a replay here. There's the foul. That, that's continuation. That's, that's, continuation. That's, that's a clear continuation. Foul one two, and Isaac's gonna ponder about that a bit. The referees call no continuation in that stand as Goldstein pulls up for two. 
High Tech Bangkok City fans started to come alive as their team's offense starts working on. Desmond O now swings it. Way long. Good ball movement by the Slingers. Oh, gets inside. Whoa. Oh, Howard and Goldstein battling for it. Once again with those offensive rebounds. Way long. Floats it up and in. That's what offensive rebounding does to you. It sets the defense off balance. So Way Long just waltz into the paint for that one-hander. Goldstein goes up for three. Long. Bounce for the boards. Howard taps it out of bounds. High Tech remains possession. Another early three-point shot for High Tech Bangkok City. Not a good idea for them. But that's one and four for Freddie Goldstein. Charles making his way inside. Go. Charles going through contact as well. High Tech have been working it down in the post. As Coach Ching Rees looks to bring back Kabahu into the game. Justin Howard posting up. Goes all the way to the other side and, and gets caught for a traveling violation. Lost his footing when he gathered. Good defense, good physical, clean defense from Thomas. Thomas uh, pulling the chair <laughs> off uh, Justin Howard in that but, play. Yeah, but that's how you play defense on Justin Howard. He's a guy who likes to ram it in and slide into a little bit. If you give him space, he's going to lose. Uh, <laughs>
A foul off the ball. It's on Delvin Go there. That puts Singapore with four team fouls. One more foul, they're going to be in the penalty. As we see the replay over here, Go caught help, uh, holding on to Christian Charles. Another miss, Kabahu on the baseline. Wei Long is going to slow it down, wait for reinforcements. Singapore running their normal play, good ball movement once again as they're going to try and post up Howard, but good deny by Stephen Thomas. Wei Long forces his way inside and a foul is called on Bandit Lacan. A bit too slow there on the feet, he caught him on the side. That was a bit of a lucky break there for Singapore as he would have been cleanly blocked by Christian Charles as you see here. You need to trust your big man in plays like this. I mean, Lakan could see Chris Charles closing the door on, on Wei Long Wong in that play, but he chose to try to swipe the ball himself and head to that foul. You don't want to put Wong Wei Long in the free throw line as it's usually an automatic two points as well. See, no Singapore slinger even cared to be on the lane for an offensive <laughs> rebound because that's just how good a free throw shooter Wong is. As Wong Wei Long gets tagged for a foul and that will send Lacan to the line as well. So both teams now are in the penalty. Whatever the case, this has been a really low scoring affair. Only 23 points for High Tech Bangkok City, 35 for the Singapore Slingers. But at this pace, this is what the Singapore Slingers want to play. Khan makes the first free throw. High Tech has been struggling on the line throughout the night so far. Khan goes two for two. Time someone from high tech went two off two from the line. They've been splitting it up before all this. Rakan was also the one who iced the game on the free throw line in game one. Desmond, oh, nice drop pass though to Delvin Go, no! Oh, Howard! He bounced over and over again there. Howard asking for the foul there. Christian Charles. They're gonna set it back up. Goldstein now calling the play. Christian Charles looking for the cutter. Kabahu, he's gonna fade away. Gets it to go. Back to Kabahu. That's a gorgeous move. Head and shoulder fake. Turn around for the short fadeaway jumper. Nice look from Chris Charles as well. Saw the guy cutting and feeded him. Justin Howard once again shorts tab. That's what happens when you give him a free shot to start the game. When he gains confidence with that mid-range game, he's very difficult to stop. Charles going all the way, gets blocked by Justin Howard. Singapore Slingers gave him an open lane up until that last shot. Cross-court kick out, he swings it to Wu, good for three! Chris Charles not making it back to defense after missing on that layup. Wu making them pay. This bad transition defense for high tech. The difference between the two teams. Oh, Taking advantage of their strengths more. One thing that high tech are really missing out since Tyler Lamb's injury. It, an underrated fact is the fast breaks. They haven't been able to get on the fast breaks. Tyler Lamb was one guy who really leaked out well on defense. Stephen Thomas was able to throw those baseball passes. Chris Charles hasn't been even running up the floor. That's something that's really slowed down their offense since the last game. That is a slow player. <laughs> He likes a slow break, tries to camp out on the three-point land. Well, you really have no choice if you're asked to play after <laughs> a, a really long break from professional basketball. To add to Tuike's point, I think the rebounding of high tech is also hurting their own fast break game. That's They're true. allowing too many offensive rebounds, and you really can't get 
yourself going on the break if you're allowing that many offensive rebounds. Another thing that is working for the Singapore Slingers is that 9 of their 15 field goals have been assisted. That means that they are very good at passing to each other. The other 6 field goals came off offensive rebounds. So that's your entire offense. Either second chance points or assisted points. And that just means you're playing so much better as a team. That's just the breaking down of the high tech bang. That's a traveling. That's a traveling. Charles. Okay, Tech is just struggling on, on all sides of the court. High Tech now uh, really forcing the issue down low. Yes, they do get the touches right now, but the big man should draw the defense and kick it back out to the shooters. As Wei Long tries for three! <laughs> That's a dagger, Wei Long. That pushes the lead up to 19 for Singapore Slingers with only 40 seconds going into halftime. Goldstein, he's gonna pull up for two. Long. Good thing there. Steven Thomas with the offensive rebound. The only bright spot for high tech Bangkok City right now. A rare set of second chance points for high tech Bangkok City as they cut their deficit down somewhat to 16. Justin Howard taking his time against Thomas. Way long, pulls up once again over Goldstein. We were asking <laughs> where was Way Long in game one. In game two, he's saying, I'm right here. I'm ready to take over. Savior Alexander in foul trouble, not a problem for the same. High tech just looking frustrated. Everyone on the court, off the court, everyone involved just looks frustrated at how the game's been playing out. Well, to add to that, Singapore is just making their shots as well. I mean, High Tech's missing a lot of open shots too. And Singapore found the confidence early on and was able to just go with the motion throughout the whole game. Yeah. Uh, Singapore thing is making these shots and the shots that they missed, they've just rebounded on the offensive end and put it back in. So I think High Tech Bangkok City was a little too agitated to start this game. Of course, you want to have a good performance in your home court. Of course, you want to put the game away but there's no shortcut. You have to play 40 minutes of good basketball to put a team like the Singapore Slings. right now well uh, now we are going to concentrate on defense the rebounding that we have uh, they have 23 rebounds we only have 14 so far so uh, they're dominating on the rebounds especially on the offensive side yeah so they have a lot of uh, put back so um, we're going back inside and then let's see like uh, what what uh, the, the coaches will say okay and how about the rest of the game how to get back yeah Get back into game. Well, uh, we'll take things uh, one 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 uh, shot at a time, and then just adjust the defense and let's see. Because now we're we're all operating uh, our shots from the outside. We'll try to go and inject the shots inside this time. Okay, and thank you so much. Okay, now get back to you. Thank you very much, Victoria. And with that, we're gonna head into a halftime break. Uh, halftime score is 48 to 29 in favor of the Singapore Slingers.
success. to do to get back into this ball game. They just have to get their offense going. Freddie, as, as we've been mentioning throughout the whole game, Freddie Goldstein has got to distribute the ball or at least get, get better shots at the basket, not those mid-range fadeaway jumpers or turnaround jumpers. We, that's not helping them on offense at all. He's got to get aggressive, at least go to the basket, draw those defensive slingers at him, and then pass off to the centers. That, that's the main point that they've been unable to score throughout this game. And also another part is the offensive rebounding of the Slingers. The high-tech Bangkok City have got to keep a body on, on the Slingers at all times during defense. Don't let them get those check and chance shots. Right to that point, DK. Goldstein already has six attempts from the three-point range. Compare that to the six attempts each of Thomas and Charles, and you see that the offense is not balanced. You also see that Goldstein has already four assists to his name. So he is capable of creating shots for his teammates. He just needs to make that his priority as the second half of play starts. Hopefully the coaches have told what adjustments the High Tech Bangkok City needs to make. And hopefully the players will deliver as Christian Charles gets called for a quick foul as he went for the block on Wong Wei Long. Oh, Delta Go, sorry. <laughs> Probably about the hand on the back of Delta Go during the third. But it's a very smart boy. 
from the Singapore Slingers to use Delvin Go off the dribble against Charles because going straight up on a post up will get him blocked. But he has scored twice on layups and he got a foul there. Fortunately, he, he only missed, made one of two free throws. The lead is up to 20 once again for the Singapore Slingers. High Tech have got to bite away at this. This is only an uphill battle. Nice pass. Like pass this and end one for Stephen Thomas as he flexes his muscles in front of the Bangkok crowd. Big to big passing is impossible to stop. Chris Charles was double teamed by Howard and go. Snappy pass inside to his buddy Stephen Thomas who finishes with the foul. Stephen Thomas looking out, uh, looking to come out with a vengeance in the second half as he completes the three-point play. So High Tech Bangkok City starting out on the right foot here. Let's see if they can keep it up. Way long, being guarded by Kabahuk. Hit those two three-pointers to end the first half. Way long still has the ball, looking for someone. He pops up for three. Long, good save by Delvin Go. That's the aggressiveness that Singapore has been doing throughout the whole game. Way Long almost gets one over, but Golsi now is going to push it. Makes his way inside, and a layup to go! Dazzling display of dribbling from Fred Goldstein as he attacks the basket. They cut their deficit down to 15 points. Quick timeout there for the Slingers. A bit of a confusion there at the referee's table. Nice, nice happy time. with the effort their defense has been showing. Singapore Slinger coach will call an early timeout. It's just a minute. Bangkok City. This is what they lack pretty much throughout the whole first half. We know that whatever Coach Jing said in the halftime break really lit a fire in the bellies of these players. Steve, Steve Thomas not liking the contact from their master. <laughs> We're guessing there was a lot of censorship during the halftime break inside the high tech locker room. That's the point with only 20 minutes left in this game. They want to end this year, end this now. No one wants to go in a decisive game three against Singapore in OCBC Arena. As High Tech fought hard to get back the home court advantage, they don't want to lose it once again by losing tonight. So they're definitely going to go aggressive to be able to get the win. Do a quick shout out to our sponsors, Air Asia, the official airline partner of the ABL, Li Ning, the official ball partner of the ABL, and McDavid, the official protective compression partner of the ABL. Delvin Go swings it now. Long way long. Makes his way inside. Floats one over Chris and Charles. Defense of Patrick Cabahu not really working out. He is too slow to defend Wong. I'm surprised how much easy it is for Wong Wei Long, Desmond O, Delvin Go to get inside the lane against the high tech defense. And Goldstein hits a three from downtown. Goldstein is heating up for high tech. Five straight points for the point guard. Nice defense by high tech as Lacan gets the ball. He's going to push it now. Swings it. Goldstein's going to try another three. Short, but Christian Charles battling for the rebound. Saves the ball, although he saves it to Wu. A bit of a heat check there from Goldstein. As Wei Long gets tripped up. Cross court pass. Delvin go over Christian Charles. <laughs> that was way too easy for Desmond O there. Had no idea what, what High Tech's defense was doing in that play. Wei Long Long slipped. Goldstein helped him up. Why would you do that? He's he's your <laughs> opponent. Use that, that advantage. And then just play defense. That's not the time for... Sportsmanship award right there for Freddie Goldstein, although... You can do that once the ball is dead. Not a live opponent. shot by Goldstein. Not one that High Tech wanted right now. As Wu pulls up for three. Open three. Gets it to go. Momentum killer for the Singapore Slingers. This lead was down to 15. 
just a while ago, but a quick spurt of four points. It's back up to 19 points. Goldstein, a bit of a double-edged sword. He's the one that could put you back in the ball game, and he's the one that can also miss shots and force shots. That would give the momentum back to the Slingers. Yeah, we saw there, Freddie Goldstein went away for five straight points. But then when he, he started feeling it, he came back on the other end, took a quick three-point shot. It led to a fast break by the Singapore Slingers where their defense broke down. And right now, the Slingers are back up by 19 once again. Yeah, High Tech Bangkok City making a bit of a run of their own. But good to see Singapore being able to hold their own as well. Make some shots here and there, and now they're still back up once again. When Goldstein figures out how to involve his teammates, when his shooting is going, he'll be a much, a much more uh, dangerous player here in the ABL. Now, when he when he gets a shot, he feels the need to take another one. Yeah. And the defense knows what's going to happen, so they're going to collapse on Goldstein. But if he's hot, feeds the other players as well. Then the whole offense gets going. Then he's probably going to end up shooting an open shot once again. Joe, you know, the two shots that Goldstein made were in rhythm. The, the open three and that fast break floater. Yeah. The next two shots were easily defended. It was a pull-up three in transition. And then a difficult layup with Singapore's defense already set. For a shot on the second layup as well, as you mentioned. And Stephen Thomas missed that mid-range shot. Singapore now back on the offense. Desmond O. Gets it out. Way long. Mid-range pull up. No, gets his own rebound. Just let the smallest guy on the court get an offensive rebound there. That's not good for high tech at all. Luckily for them, the ball will sail out of bounds into their favor. See the replay over here. Long way long, getting his own rebound. Everyone was just looking at that ball, hoping it falls into their hands. No one was making a move at their player. It never fa falls into their hands. I mean, <laughs> you have to put an effort. I mean, That's true. Dennis Rodman has said it time and again, and even Charles Barkley. Rebounding is all about effort. It doesn't matter if you're small or, or slow. If you work hard for it, you will get rebound. On the side of High Tech Bangkok City, they should put a body on the shooter as well, not just because he was going to take the shot. Doesn't mean he can leave him alone. Lacan now calling the shots for High Tech. Dangerous pass to Stephen Thomas. Goldstein, killer crossover. He's going to pull up for another three. Leaves it short, but Charles is there for to put it back. No, short once again. Stephen Thomas gets fouled. And he's going to be sent to the free throw line. Shinde tried to draw at an offensive foul there, but a bit too slow. And Stephen Thomas did not dip his shoulder on that last play, and that's why a blocking foul was called. On Wu King Gay. And they lean forward a little bit and use a call for the refs. And you're also not to put an arm up when you're when the one you're defending is already up for, going up for a shot. Stephen Thomas leaves the first free throw short. They've been trying to gain momentum but still unable to make a meaningful run. Still down by 19 points with six minutes left in the third quarter. Wu almost losing it. Able to save the ball. Devil, Delvin go now. They're looking for Howard on the post. Can't find him. Good defense by Thomas. Now they get to him. Howard making his move. Turnaround jumper. Rolls in. We still haven't seen any uh, sign of uh, Xavier Alexander to start the first, uh, second half, sorry. Because you don't need to play him. You're up 20. <laughs> yeah. Just if you will need him in the fourth quarter, maybe play him then. But unless High Tech goes on a run, keep him on the floor. Wet spot right there. That's Stephen Thomas slip. Howard making his way inside against Christian Charles. No. And the foul is called, I guess, on Bandit Lacan. Here we see the replay. 
Steve Thomas slips. Thankfully, no injury happened on that play. And nothing can hurt Stephen Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> He's immune to pain. <laughs> He's immortal. Mid-range shot gets it to go. All the shots for Singapore just falling in. And these are open shots as well, that's why. These are easy shots that they're getting high techs not switching on defense. And when you don't care about missing because you're up 20, it's, it's so much easier to take shots like that. It's a different confidence that you have, that's right. Stephen Thomas getting clobbered inside. And ball retains with high tech Bangkok City. You have to applaud the defense play by the Singapore Slingers. Those were four guys. On Steve Thomas helping oh, each other oh, oh. Out, not to allow him to score. Just swarming on him there. Delvin Go with a nice block. Takabahu gets loose for three. He gets, gets bumped on the three point line, but no foul is called. Fast break for Singapore as Boo goes inside and gets blocked by Charles. And the foul is called on Christian Charles. Going to be Kristen Charles' second foul of the game. See the replay. I think it's on Goldstein. They, they already called it on Christian yeah, Charles. Charles. Yeah, Charles. Yeah, but most of the contact came from yeah. Goldstein. Interesting call. But how about this guy? I mean, <laughs> in the first half of the season barely heard about him and then he exploded for that stretch even became player of the week now he is a constant contributor for the Singapore Slingers his confidence is just continuing to build as each game goes by in the first games a few games of the season he's actually injured he had a knee injury and that's why he debuted in the season slower than most of the other players but once he came in and started to play played really well oh, shit. Stephen Thomas misses that short stab. Hightech unable to gain any momentum at all after that Another small open run. three for Singapore <laughs> and Wei Long makes Hightech pay. Wei Long just keeps making it worse. Lead is 27 right now. Stephen Thomas gets the bump and one for Stephen Thomas. Stephen Thomas gets that end one, waiting to make another free throw. That's a new ASEAN Basketball League playoff career high for Wei Long Wong with 20 points. His former high was at 18. As Goldstein with a steal and the layup. See if that can spark something up for High Tech Bangkok City, but another foul is called on. He's calling it tight on High Tech Bangkok City. So that's a that's the good a good idea from Coach Jing Ruiz. You need to force turnovers out of the Singapore Slingers, and you do that by pressuring them from the backcourt. Good tap defense for Stephen Thomas as he hits it out of bounds to deny the post for Justin Howard. Howard now hands it off to Wei Long. Wei Long inside and gets it one more time. That's 22 points. As Carlo mentioned earlier, his previous playoff high was 18. His career high is 25, and he's well on pace to break that just three points shy. We were talking about Wong and Jin De Wu, that they only combined for 12 points in the last game. Now they have a whopping 30 five points as a duo that's that's really the difference for the singapore slingers in this game picking up the slack as uh, chris rosales has not played yet in this game a good step up for the other locals for singapore as lakan is called for another foul yeah, for a moment there i actually forgot that the slingers had chris rosales on this roster that just says about how much the singapore slingers locals have actually stepped up in this game and Singapore being aggressive, driving to the lane every possession. 
If it's not there, they kick it out to open shooters. But the point that they are driving and being aggressive leads High Tech Bangkok City to commit the fouls on the defensive end. Another thing is, if your offensive rebounding is going for you, guys like Wong, guys like Jing Wu, they're not afraid to take shots yet because there's a high possibility that their bigs are going to clean up after them. That is true. The, the confidence that you have, as you mentioned a while ago, being up this much, having the, you know, the spacing in the court, it just, you know, gives your confidence a new high and you just keep shooting. Abajo, turn around shot, in and out. Oh, Charles battling for the rebound and he gets fouled. My tech's level of effort is getting up in this quarter a lot more often than rebounds. That's their ninth of the game. Good aggressive play there for Christian Charles as he battled for the oh, offensive man. rebound and he gets fouled. So two free throws for Christian Charles right now. These are crucial minutes for High Tech Bangkok City because if you somehow cut it down to 15, Somewhere in that range, that will give you some confidence heading into the fourth quarter. But if it remains upwards of 20 points, it, it's so much tougher to get yourself involved in the game, to get yourself committed that you can still get back into this game. That is true. That's a hard foul on the court, Tyson. Nice effort to get the offensive rebound. And draws a foul This on is what high-tech Bangkok City needs. Aggressive plays like that by Jason Nook. I mean, this is what they lacked during the first half, and that's what happened, and that's why they dug themselves into a big hole as Jason Nook lands over Delvin Go. Good thing Delvin Go is okay. Good thing but both, he's of them are <laughs> both okay. people are okay. <laughs> but he's holding, he's holding his head right now, so... And tries to look, this is the first free throw. He's probably a bit shaken up as well. Shaken up and, and cold. He just came off the bench. It's hard to just come in and make his shots. Shades of the ultimate warrior with a splash on the head of Delvin Go. <laughs> and you were just talking about that wrestling thing in the Philippines. <laughs> Singapore Slingers trying to work their offense. Nice and note again with the aggressive attempt to get the ball. Luckily, he wasn't called for the foul there as loose ball is now happening in. High Tech gets the possession. Love the effort from High Tech in that play. It all starts with defense. That's how you get back into games. And in that possession, they defended it perfectly. Now we see Cesar Alexander come in. Way Long is given a breather. Good timing of the substitution, just right when High Tech Bangkok City seemed to be getting an edge on the physicality. And this is still a huge lead that they need to work themselves back into. Goldstein now making his way inside. Up the number, yay! Like a magician <laughs> showing the ball, hiding it and then kissing it off the glass with the English. That's what high tech needs right now, a spark plug. And they do it on defense to keep it going. Nice Good aggressive defense. defense like Kabaho. Oh, almost a five second ball hogging violation. Oh. And Go is fouled as he goes inside. Tough break for high tech Bangkok City. Only had five seconds left in that shot clock. Delvin Go is going to get two chances to earn the two points from the line. Good for Singapore Slingers to regain composure after losing that ball and having their offense kind of run out of sync. Delvin Go finally gets away with it and then goes for inside, but he misses the first free throw. So not a, bo not a bad foul by High Tech right now. That will be Kabahu's third foul in the game, though. Kabahu fouled out in the first game against the Slingers, so they're going to need his firepower. Melvin Go makes the back end of his free throws. That's 10 points for the big guy, 204 from the free throw line. 
Singer still trapping High Tech Bangkok City. Bahu is substituted out for Ataporn Lord My Life Warren, bringing in a wing for High Tech Bangkok City. Goldstein for three! You know, he can shoot you out of games, <laughs> but he can also <laughs> shoot you into games as he cuts their deficit down to 17. It's like rolling a dice with Freddy Goldstein right now. It's looking good for them. Alexander kicks it out. They're going to go to Howard. Their main man, though Howard, leaves it a bit short. Stephen Thomas, long passing at the point. At the point, loses it. But Jason Nook now has it. They're denying Goldstein the ball. Jason Nook pulls up, fade away, long. Battle for the rebound. And Howard gets away with it. Lead pass, but Goldstein intercepts it. Goldstein now pushing inside. Got pass, and Christian Charles gets hammered. Crowd is really getting into it right now. Everyone's cheering on with the momentum rising for High Tech Bangkok City. It's good to see the crowd getting into the ball game despite being down by 17. But they were they were never out of the game. I mean, they were down by 28 points and they were cheering still wildly at every good thing. High tech dust on the floor. That's how you how you want your your fans to be. Yeah, that's I mean, a, that's the point of the home court thick advantage. And thin. <laughs> It's a point of having home court advantage. Yeah, but you, you know like how most road teams, they come in, they say, yeah, we got to build up a quick lead so we can get the crowd out of it straight away. Doesn't happen here <laughs> in Bangkok City. That's not how they roll. It's good to see the support of the fans as Christian Charles makes the first and it goes two out of two. Can I take keep it going to get into the fourth quarter on a high note? This is a big possession coming up. If they get a stop here in the basket, they will have complete momentum heading into the fourth quarter. Desmond O oh, loses it. Almost picked up by Nakorn Dice uh, at the former Horn there. The defense. Yeah, go ahead. The defense of High Tech is really picking up. They've been quicker to the balls. They've been staying on their guys. It's a good defensive stance right now. Alexander now. Going inside. And a foul is called that on is Atapon Lid Malaporn. That is a dubious call. Is reacting. That, that was a hard call. Let's. And the crowds are letting the crowd the doesn't here. like the call. Let's see the replay, folks. Let's see the replay. That was a foul. Yeah. You know, you may not like it, but yeah. the rule of verticality states that if a shooter fakes and the defender inches forward and there's contact, that's you have true. to call a foul. Yeah, that's true. And his arms were slightly leaning towards uh, Alexander. That, that's the home crowd, though. It's a tough call, but it's something that yeah. you have to make. And they're going to make you it's feel a, that it's way. It's a 50-50 call. And, of course... The whole crowd will never like the calls against their team, so. But a good thing is Xavier Alexander is not a good free throw shooter. But he... Alexander! <laughs> right on cue. I think you were just about to say, but he makes it. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm using How do team. you say Paul don't lie <laughs> in Thai? Paul don't lie. Rashid Wallace is probably watching this game. and shouting in his bed. <laughs> what a crowd sensation we're getting here. Alexander one drops for one Xavier though. Alexander. Not a bad foul. I think he's going to get a chance to redeem that on offense. 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Goldstein pulls up for three. Long. Battle for the boards. Howard comes away with it. Yes. And a foul is called on Stephen Thomas. And that will send Justin Howard to the line for two free throws. Rushing the offense, that's been the problem. That's been a big problem for High Tech Bangkok City. Even if they're the ones at the back foot trying to chase this lead, they cannot rush their offense. That is true. I mean, they still have one more quarter to play. So they should try and get as much quality shots as they can. With the, the physicality of the the moment right now, they should have tried to force it inside, try to draw a foul, get those easy baskets, especially with 
Uh, Singapore Slingers in the red already. Howard can't capitalize and this is the first free throw. This is both. Isaac gets away with that Justin Howard on the floor. Cross court pass to at the point. He's gonna go inside, kicks it out. Tyson up for three. No. Itag was just been all over the place on those three-point shots. Desmond O now. Coming inside, no kicks it out. Alexander. I think the shot clock, there's something wrong with the shot clock here. Yeah. We're down to 10 seconds on the on the game clock. Then the third quarter. Alexander makes his way inside. Kicks it out. Delvin go. Mid-range shot. No. Misses. Stephen Thomas gets a rebound and shoots a Hail Mary. And that's the end of the third quarter. Let's catch our breath here a little bit, but High Tech has made a pretty good run. They were down by 28 at one point, now they're down by 16 going into the fourth quarter. It's still a pretty big lead, but High Tech has shown that they have the power to do it. You know, despite this being a lopsided game so far, it's been a really exciting matchup between these two teams going back and forth. It's just... It's just hard that High Tech Bank Kasi were building up momentum he heading into the end of the third quarter, but things just went not going their way with that foul called on Atapoor by Lerd Malayporn. And then Freddie Goldstein coming up and taking that pull up, pull up three point shot. Just not the way that they would have liked to end the third quarter, but it's not the worst situation that they could have been going into this final interval. That is true. As you mentioned, uh, Carlo a while ago, as long as they could cut it down to 15, well, they've cut it down to 16. So do you think they still have a chance in this ballgame? Uh, you, you can never count out a champion team like High Tech Bangkok City. I mean, these guys are pros. These guys are <laughs> veterans. They know how to win games. They know how to win tough games. They might be behind big, but they're just one big run from turning this story around. That is true. And High Tech Bangkok City always have it in them to get back in the ball games, as you mentioned. So let's see if they can make the adjustments, the proper adjustments to get back in this ball game as we start the fourth quarter. No. The biggest lead that the Saigon Heat got in this game was 27 points. It's 65 to 38 in the third quarter. High Tech was able to trim 11 points out of that deficit in half the quarter. Yeah. So you know that if they can do that, they can work with a 16-point deficit facing them. They're capable of doing it. It's just a matter of playing better defense and shooting just a little bit better from the floor. That is true. Well, if, they if they, they're able to do that once again, 11-point lead, then that's going to cut their, the lead back to five, and that's a very manageable uh, lead to work with if you're midway the fourth quarter already. For the last 10 minutes of the game, Christian Charles starts off going in the post, gets double teamed. Danai. Bunkum, long on that possession. Uh, every every shot now or every play for high tech accuracy will be a crucial possession. And way long goes inside. He's going to pull up just inside the arc. No. Way long cooling off a bit after his scoring run. High tech tussling down low. Christian Charles gets inside, tries to go. Christian Charles draws the foul on Justin Howard. That's going to be Justin Howard's third personal foul. Still in safe territory. Justin Howard talking to the refs a little bit. He needs to be careful right now. He doesn't want to be called for a technical. Yeah, especially at this point of the game. Still very crucial to the Singapore Slingers defense. I think that's a foul because the elbow of Howard brushed the elbow of Christian Charles who was already going up for that shot. I, I think Howard was more calling for the uh, initial elbow that Christian <laughs> Charles, Charles yeah, did. was pushing on it. Charles can't capitalize though as he leaves the first free throw short. As, as a referee, it's really hard to call post, post moves. <laughs> very, yeah. very physical. Because there's a lot of contact yeah, there. That's true. These are movements being made by pro athletes. <laughs> it's very quick, very physical. It's just hard to keep up with it all the time. Howard gets loose, kicks it back out. Alexander thought about it, but he's going to step inside and drains that long two. That's more his range. 
giving up the three, taking two dribbles into the floor, and then nailing that mid-range. Goldstein, is he gonna look to answer? Ball staying with a nice, nice pass, pass down low. Ah, what a dunk by Christian Charles. That <laughs> could be the momentum changer that the High Tech Bangkok City have been looking for throughout this game. If High Tech can build the momentum on this defensive stance, it could be a close game. Alexander misses it. Howard with the offensive rebound. No. Still going Mark down. High. Ball is just all over the place. Delvin oh, Goal comes away with it. That's a big basket by the Singapore Slingers. Oh, offensive rebound still working well for the Singapore Slingers as they rebuild the 70 point lead. Just toughing it out. And a foul is called away long as he's been playing too much aggressive defense on Freddie Goldstein. Still only way long second foul despite all the aggressive defense that he's been giving to the high tech Bangkok City guards. Kabahog now checking back in for Nakon Jaisanuk. Lead is up at 17, but you just can't help feel that High Tech Bangkok City is really into this game anyways. Yeah. Goldstein pulls up for three. No. Freddie Goldstein put a hand on it before it went out. Singapore Slingers get the ball. Fatigue playing a role right now towards Freddie Goldstein, don't you think? Now he played a lot of minutes. He played all of the minutes <laughs> so far, not just a lot. <laughs> He's taking a lot of shots too. Way long. Nice oh, pass inside the goal, but he gets blocked by Charles. Good defense there by High Tech. Kong Kool, pull up. Short, but a foul. That's a, foul. That's That's a, a fourth. That's a fourth on Howard. Howard. That's a big foul. Big. That is big. See if Hitek can take advantage of this. I like to see them throw it in the post and bang it down with Howard. Let's see the replay over here. Yep. Yes. Yeah, a little too <laughs> rough. That's not boxing out already. <laughs> That's a lift. Dribbling violation. Sabahu turns the ball over. That's tough. I mean, you need all of the possessions and you give away one for free. Yeah. You can't give out careless turnovers like that, especially if they're unforced errors as well. Alexander playing a bit of point guard. He's going to look for Howard down low, but Alexander gets <laughs> called for the offensive foul. <laughs> Teams are just turning the ball over on fouls, left and right. That's also his fourth personal foul. A very crucial fouls made by the Singapore Slingers. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a clear <laughs> shove. He's probably used to someone, you know, stronger guarding him. But then you have a local, uh, <laughs> Danai Kong Kum, and just a bit of a shove will send him out of balance and out of the way. Now, if you're high tech, you need to drive into the lane yeah. and try to fish for the fifth foul of either Alexander or Howard. Goldstein with a wild floater. Early into the shot clock as well. Alexander now on the baseline. And you're staying patient. Makes his way to Howard. Howard, mid-range shot. Uh, yes, gets it to go. That was a triple team. <laughs> on Savior Alexander leaving Howard wide open that's a big, for that jumper. That's a big how, shot. How patient Alexander was, even if he was right there. Chris Charles tries to go off out. And he does. And he eventually gets it. Long way long, not happy at all. The referee is trying to take control of the situation. Hey, you gotta call one elbow. Hey, call one elbow. Call one elbow. Interesting, the three minutes into the quarter, Singapore Sling is fouled five times. I take Bangkok City and kept a clean sheet. That was a good wall made by Delta Cohen and Xavier Alexander to stop Christian Charles from getting inside. Still stocking up the fouls, way long with three, Shing Dei with three, Xavier Alexander and Justin Hour both with four, and Delvin go with three as well. Oh, wow. Christian Charles. Fatigue is getting to him. 
Good thing it happened on the home court. <laughs> the crowd didn't say anything. And this is the second, but a lane violation is called. Because that's going to be another free throw for Christian Charles. Justin Howard laughing it off. And he makes it count. Lead is still at 18. High Tech Bangkok City are waiting for that run that has been bound to come. They're going to try and post up Howard. No, they're seeing the Delvin go. Alexander. Slowly making his way inside. Way long with a nice fake. Way long mid range shot. Gets it to go. Working on that career high 25 points. Now with 24 in the game. More importantly, that puts the Singapore Slingers up by 20 with only six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Christian Charles short on that mid range shot. They've been getting the look, but they have been unable to put them down. That is true, Carlo. On the other hand, Singapore Sling is just making everything pretty much. Ooh, pulls it back out. And a foul is all done. Denai Kong Kum on Savior Alexander. Denai Kong Kum has been playing Alexander aggressively, getting into his head. Lead is back up to a 20 point lead. They've Cut it down to as close as 16. Howard now on the post. Puts one in. That's four straight points for Howard just when the high tech Bangkok City were threatening to close in on this uh, deficit. Just clutch shots there by Justin Howard. Stephen Thomas. He's going to try and answer back. No. Ball is tapped out by Wang Wei Long. High Tech's going to get another jab. A lot of the shots of High Tech Bangkok City have been falling short in this game. Well, they've, they haven't been getting open shots. Their ball rotation hasn't been getting them anything that is at a high percentage shot. Thomas once more. Inside. No. Goldstein for three. No. Again, another quick shot from High Tech. Quick outlet, broken up by Kabahug. He's going to push it up. Fades away, in, gets it to go, Patrick Kabahug. That's one of those no, 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 yeah shots from Patrick Kabahug early in the shot clock. Will suffer a jumper, luckily he makes it. That's kind of like his patented shot, though, that short range fade away. Hopefully, for High Tech, he finds more of that. As Wu tries to answer back, no, Justin Howard. Another offensive rebound. This time draws a foul on Stephen Thomas. Chris Charles was in the right position to get that rebound, but he missed time to jump, allowing Howard to grab another offensive rebound. He was right there. <laughs> And we have a timeout. Four minutes, 46 seconds, 20 point lead for the Slingers. Do you think high tech Bangkok City still has a chance? Or is it a long shot? Shots as they've been doing for much of this fourth quarter. Yeah, at the very least, even if they lose this game, they should try to get their offensive rhythm going. There's still game three left. You don't want to end, uh, end the game here and go into the third game with your offense still off each other like this. Well, best case scenario is because both big men or both imports for Singapore are in foul trouble, that if they do get to foul out Howard and Alexander Wood, that leaves the door open for them. I think especially that that could be the case if Howard fouls out of this game because we all saw how good Singapore played even with Xavier Alexander seated on the bench they need to get that big man out of the shaded area if they plan on catching up with the slingers let's see how this game is gonna unfold as we get back in under five minutes to go in the ball game 20 point lead for the slingers 
Remember, folks, they are down one nothing to High Tech Bangkok City in this best of three series. So they need th this win tonight to force a game three back in their home court. Again, the Slingers have been playing without Chris Rosales for the entire game. This is just a st uh, standing point by the Singapore Slingers that they can play without one of their stars. Their role players can step up and make the shots for their team. Do you think Chris Rosales will be able to play on the next game if we do have a game three? Well, we don't know the extent of the hand injury he has suffered, but at this point, unless they absolutely need him to, they might just rest him and maybe get him back in the final if they make it. Yeah. With the way that they've been playing today, they'll probably feel that they will be able to survive if they do have a game three to beat High Tech once again. Unable to make those open shots, high tech Bangkok City. These are great looks. I mean, you really can't knock on the passing of high tech in this fourth quarter because they've been very efficient in getting the ball to where they want. Just could not knock down the shot. Which just raises the question was it a good move to move venues this late in the season? They've never played on this court the entire season. Just moving here for the playoffs might have been a bad idea. Another great look that failed to drop in. Coming from a court where you're used to shooting at, it was a practice court, to a real, you know, like a big gymnasium like this where they've last played was last year in the finals. You do have a good point there, TK, where besides the fans, it's not really a true home court advantage. The way Long gets fouled there and he's going to be going two shots. I, I see I see the point that you guys are raising, but it's, it's the ABL playoffs. I yeah. mean, you want as many fans as possible watching the game, and of course, you'd rather shoot in, your, in <laughs> where you practice. <laughs> but the, the support of the fans yeah. here in Bangkok City has been amazing. This, this arena has been back from the start of this game. And this arena as well is like closer to the middle of the city downtown Bangkok compared to the high-tech gym. Teddy Goldstein turns over once again. High-tech Bangkok City slowly getting out of this game. 24 points down, three minutes left. And a foul is called on Danai as he went for the reach-in. Way Long open for three on the corner, makes them pay. It's just one of those games for Way Long. Everything falling for him, setting a new ABL career high, and then what a time for it to come in a do-or-die game against the defending champion. So that extends the lead to 27 as Kabahu cuts it back down to 25. Once again, one of his signature shots. Herky jerky turnaround. I like that term. <laughs> Herky jerky turnaround. Way long. Freddy Goldstein just shaking his head, trying to defend Way Long. Alexander makes his way inside. Easy two points for Savior Alexander. Timeout is called under three minutes with Singapore pushing the lead back up to 27. So you see Tyler Lamb. High Tech Bangkok City missing him badly. Not only Tyler Lamb, we have Wutipong Dasom here sitting behind the bench. His ankle injury keeping him out of the ABL playoffs. What, what a timely injury to both of those two players who would have really surely impacted this game. No, it's, it's rather unfortunate that some of uh, the best players in the ABL suffered injuries late in the season. Even Morgan from Saigon Heat hurt his nose, I think, but he's yeah. playing right now for game two in our do or die game against the West Sports Malaysia Dragons. Even the Slingers have injuries as Chris Rosales has not played in this game. So you really can't look at the players you don't have on the floor. Just make do with what you have and try your best to win. And that's what Singapore has been doing. Chris Rosales man down, next man stepping up. That's what I take Bangkok City has to figure it out. No one has stepped up in this game. Chris Rosales made 24 points in game one. I think Wei Long Wong has made enough for the both of them <laughs> here in game two. Alexander with a steal. 
Join and side kicks it out. Delvin go. Big brain shot, no. He gets his own rebound. Justin Howard looking where he is. Maybe trying to thought about taking that three. Sling is just milking time away. Delvin Go makes a power move to the basket. Shot clock violation is there for the Singapore Slingers. As we're now going to see Suk Dave Gogar check in for the first time. This will give Stephen Thomas a ref. So they're going to rest Stephen Thomas and prepare him for the next game. Patipat Pahan is getting ready to check in as well. As another turnover happens, and a foul is called on Ataporn Lit Malaporn. I think he's just reeling out bad play after bad play. This is a really good idea from Coach Jingrui. I mean, two minutes, this humongous Singapore lead. Take care of your players. Yeah. Allow, allow Chris Charles and Steve Thomas and Goldstein to sit down. Because you know what? They're, they'll be flying in what? Tomorrow? Yeah. They'll be flying out of Bangkok City tomorrow to fly to Singapore in the hopes of scoring uh, another win in o at the OCBC Arena. Leon Quick scores his first point in this game for the Singapore Slingers. So their next game will be on Sunday. And yep. You just right. know that that is going to be a barn burner. I mean, <laughs> all on everything on the line for both teams. Oh, yes. Yeah, everything is going to be on the table. And Singapore Slingers going in deep into the bench as well. Still leaving Justin Howard on the court, though. Gogar looking to inbound the ball. Kind of what? Third Lapu. Going to walk it up court. Under two minutes to go, he's going to make his way inside, runs into someone, <laughs> he's able to flip it up and in. No idea how that <laughs> made it happen. He made that happen. Very nice move <laughs> from the guard. With players at least almost a foot over him, he throws it up in the air and falls in for two points for high-tech Bangkok City. The Laku with a steal now. Behind the back pass, but <laughs> <laughs> Patipak did not expect it. Now, kind of what Lulaku fell out of the rotation for High Tech Bangkok City towards the latter part of the season. A veteran point guard that they usually rely on to back up their starting point guard. Well, Goldstein has been playing a lion's share of the minute, so if you're a point guard, a backup point guard for High Tech, you just accept yeah. that that is the role you'll be playing, spot minutes on the bench. Being a veteran as he is, I'm sure he's okay with it. As Wu. Still not done scoring. Elaku now. Nice pass. Despite the performance that High Tech have been playing throughout the whole season, they ended up in third place with 14 and wins and six losses. It's been pretty disappointing how they've been playing at home. But this this should turn out to be an almost 30 point loss. They've lost to the Singapore Slingers early in the season by 19. And badly, yes. Yeah, yeah, and two more losses Dragons. to the Dragons badly as well. This is just weird for a team playing at home and a veteran team at that as well. We've been calling a lot of lopsided <laughs> games throughout this season. Yes, I think Wong Wei Long should be the player of the ball game. What do you guys think? Oh, hands down. I mean, he was the biggest difference for the Singapore Slingers. What a time to get a new career high in the ABL. Yeah. So are you going to call that, Carlo? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the player of the ball game is, but from the looks of it, Wang Wei Long is the most deserving. But the Singapore Slingers put it nicely on the cake there with Kelvin Lim dunking out the last two points for the Singapore Slingers. They come away with a 29-point victory over High Tech Bangkok City on their home court. Evening up the series, we're going to go to Singapore for the decisive Game 3 of this playoff series. Sudden death Sunday for High Tech Bangkok City and the Singapore Slingers. Of course, High Tech wanting a chance to defend their crown in the finals against the winner of the Westport Malaysia Dragons versus the Saigon Heat match. But Singapore 
wanting a date with their destiny with a, do with a dominant 95-66 to 66 victory here at the Thai Japanese Gym. It's going to be a fun game there Sunday. Both teams going at it. Singapore wanting their first chance at the finals. High Tech Bangkok City wanting to defend, as you mentioned. Don't miss it, ABL fans. Yes, yeah, Singapore Swingers sent a statement game tonight, folks. 95 to 66 over the defending champions, battling to even up the series. Obviously, this is going to be an exciting matchup come Sunday. Singers just doing everything right today, and especially one of the guys that did everything well. Wong Wei Long, our player of the game with 29 points off masterful shooting. He's ready for our interview right now with our courtside reporter, Victoria. The time is off and finally and the result is the Singapore Slinger is the winning. Okay, congratulations for your victory again. Okay, how do you feel about your performance today that you are top scorer and a good defender? Um, I think it all started from defense, you know, like team defense actually contribute to my to my offensive end. Um, you know, like Xavier has been like giving me a lot of open shots, uh, finding me every time. Uh, you know, Desmond, you know, uh, trying to kick the ball to me, uh, and I'm very hot today. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you know, they just they just keep giving me the ball. You know, I'm I'm very appreciate. It's all about teamwork. Yes, but anyway, it's good. Yeah, for you. Okay, let's talk to your teammates. That every position played very well today. Uh, Indeed, because we, it all comes from defense, uh, as I mentioned before, you know, like our, you know, Coach Neil always tells us, you know, without, without our defense, you no, know, we won't win games. So uh, what we're going to build on uh, to the next, to, to game three, you know, is, is our defense, and we did it today, so uh, uh, it's team effort. Okay, let's talk to your fan. Who support you? Uh, do come down to OCBC Arena um, to support us in game three. Uh, we're going to do our best, um, and we're going to play our hearts out and die for every ball. Okay, and thank you so much, and congratulations again. Okay. Okay, the time is up right now. So, uh, thank you for watching today. I am Victoria Dinamusi Unseen. Thank you very much, Victoria. And that was a big, big win for Singapore tonight. Statement game. What do you think about the outcome? It was all about the quick start that the Singapore Slingers had in this game. High Tech was tentative to start. Maybe they were a bit agitated to be able to finish this game, this series here at home. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out for them. The Singapore Slingers gained a lot of confidence from that first quarter, and they, they just carried it on to the until the end of the game. Yeah, the Singapore Slingers came out ready. They came out prepared. Came out fit enough to pressure the ball all over the place, get those offensive rebounds, and make their shots. And that they get, as you said, they got off early. They ended the game on a high note. And things are not looking good for high tech going into this third game, but we never know what's going to happen there. Well, as they say, I mean, you really have to have short memories if you're a yeah. basketball player. You won a huge game in Singapore. You lost by a lot here in, in Bangkok, but you have to forget about it. Yeah. It's all about the 40 minutes of basketball that, that are going to play that are going to be played in Game 3. So now both teams, well, High Tech Bangkok City and Singapore, have their backs against the wall. And it's a must win on Sunday night. So we'll see. Hopefully we get an exciting ball game come Sunday. I think that's all but a, a guarantee yeah. for us as two really proud teams will be battling for the right to make it to the ABL final. Yeah, well, I really had a fun time calling the game with you guys. And hopefully everybody had fun or enjoyed listening to us as well. With that, my name is Joe Giao once again. My co-commentators, Carlo Pamintuan <laughs> and Sajatam Kulsomboon, our basketball analyst. We bid you goodbye and see you once again.
people when they make it, they don't come back. What these kids get to learn in these moments is not just how to put a ball in a hoop. They learn how to be themselves, be confident and confident in any arena. It's coming, it's coming. Make your own way to me, kind of, it's kind of like um, paving your own path to greatness. Be a leader, kind of follower. To inspire other people to, to lead by example. Challenging my team to find um, the need um, in the community, you know, without you. And, um, you know, going around and trying to, you know, figure it out, man. And, you know, we always try to leave an impact. You know, every time we come to a city, um, I, you know, I know how important that is. You know, it can be something small, man. Just by seeing someone come to your school or see someone care about you enough, it can change your whole outlook on life. You know, so I, I've been there before and I get it.